what's up guys my name is Zach and today I am driving a 2005 Kia Sportage LX up front is a 2.7 liter V6 and down below is a four-speed automatic transmission now I am super excited to be driving this Kia Sportage for two reasons first of all this does bridge a gap in my Kia Sportage lineage here on the shooting cars channel I recently did a 2000 and I've done the more modern Sportage but this is the late to mid 2000 Sportage so we're featuring it here today but the second reason is that this is pretty fully loaded it comes with a 2.7 v6 the lx was pretty high trim and so i'm excited to show you the bells and whistles here today but if you would like to submit your own vehicle you can head on over to my website zachpradel.com submit it's a quick and easy submission form it takes under a minute to fill out and i come out to you but let's get back to that 2.7 liter v6 well it was one of two engines offered here in the kia sportage this was the larger one obviously with the v6 however you could find it with the 2.0 liter inline four which was the more basic engine that you would find at lower trims i really like the torque and power from the 2.7 liter i think it definitely wakes this vehicle up and it's no slouch it's quite fun to drive with that power band i do have to say now like i said paired to it is a four speed automatic now at the base model you could find these in manual but most were automatic and this one is here today. Last but not least, this is four wheel drive, another sort of rare option here for the Kia Sportage because most were front wheel drive, but this one is four. How does it feel to drive the Kia Sportage from 2005? Well, I'm actually a really big fan. Like I said, that V6 torque is great. The all wheel drive or four wheel drive, whichever one you wanna call it, is great as well. The only issue is that this has almost 250,000 miles on it and something is busted in the transmission where it kind of has dead spots and then randomly will just shift and kick. But I really like the size of it. That's the biggest thing is that the size is so wonderful because it is small and nimble and yet it has Good power and four wheel drive it's kind of the best of both worlds now with that drivetrain you might be asking yourself zach can it tow a 7500 pound camper well let's find out With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have four gauges. Off to the left is my tachometer, in the center is my speedometer, and off to the right is my coolant temperature and fuel. On the steering wheel, I don't get any forward-facing buttons besides the cruise control stalk to the bottom right. Off to the left, we do have a climate control vent, gauge dimmer switch, ESP off, and our four-wheel drive lock, which is great. And moving out of the door, we have our speaker, latch you get in and out, power mirrors, power locks, and power windows. Moving into the center, we do have a little hazard switch as well as a digital clock and two climate vents. Then we do have an aftermarket radio because any radio from the 2000s isn't gonna keep up with modern tech, so it's been swapped out. And then we have our air conditioning options. Very, very simple air conditioning options here. We have our fan speed off to the left, where to send it in the center, and temperature off to the right. Then down below, we do have a cigarette lighter and we have our cup holders. So we will do a big friggin' bottle test here in the Kia Sportage from 2005. And I'm very happy to report that it does in fact pass the big friggin' bottle test. <laughs> Then we move on to the shifter. You can plus minus if you'd like, but it's a very, very basic automatic shifter here from Kia. Nothing interesting there. Two dead switches, a little cubby space, and a dual opening center console. The seats are okay. They are cloth. They're kind of comfortable, but they are still pretty basic. So nothing really impressive here in terms of the seat, but it's holding me within the vehicle, and sometimes that's all that I can ask for. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. Seats, so let's go do a back seat review. Now, this is definitely going to be a big test because I like the smaller size, but does that mean small back seats? 
Eh, kind of yes, kind of no. Let me fix the camera here. I wouldn't consider these seats spacious or oversized, but they're doing fine. My knees are touching the seat in front of me, but not egregiously. I do have lights up here. I do get a pull down center console, nothing on it, just a foam brick. Nothing down here besides an ashtray, thank God. Oh, I do have pull out cup holders actually. So there are some amenities back here. You're gonna be able to transport your friends, your dog, whatever you need back here. It's just not going to be this sort of Rolls Royce experience, which most people who buy these aren't looking for that. So that's, you know, on brand for what they wanted to do with it. Just something to note, it's not super spacious, but that's okay. Let's hop into the back, talk more about space with the cargo space, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, we're around the back of the Kia Sportage from 2005, and it has one of my favorite features ever. So if you come onto the tailgate here, you'll see door and glass. You hit the glass switch, and you can open, I don't know if it'll stay up on its own, it will. You can open just the rear glass to then access whatever's in here. That is absolutely wonderful. You could also get this privacy cover for urban parking and whatnot. Love, love, love when vehicles have this feature. More of them should, and it's sad that they don't. So this is absolutely fantastic. But then we can come down here and hit the door and pull up the entire tailgate, and then you can fully access the rear. We can push up on this and access our spare tire. I don't really get any crazy features on the sides here. I don't see a 12 volt outlet anywhere, which would have been nice, but in 2005, that was definitely not the standard. So I can't hate on the Sportage for that too much. Overall, this is the rear cargo space of the 05 Sportage V6, in case you were ever curious. Now we gotta talk about the looks, and I really like the look of the Kia Sportage. I think it actually looks fairly handsome. I love the size of it, as I mentioned earlier. However, with all of this being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving this Kia Sportage from 2005? Well, it's been a really good experience. Besides that bucking from the transmission, but that's just for this one particular car, I really loved it. I love the size of it, I love the V6 power, and I like how it kind of looks like a rugged little pocket toy. It's fun! It doesn't have to climb mountains in order to have somewhat of an off-road prowess, but I like that this car has all of those great features, and it really feels like they did have the user in mind, especially with that rear tailgate glass that we talked about, the usability of it, the four-wheel drive, the bigger V6. It has some really, really good features to it, and I have really enjoyed my time in it. Now, we can see here that this is still a decently rugged Sportage, but as the Sportage has gone on, as time has gone on, and they still produce the Sportage here today, that off-road prowess has slowly been drained out of the Sportage, to where now they are grocery getter SUVs, as most are. But back even in the early 2000s, the Kia Sportage that I drove that 2000 had really great off-road prowess, and this does too. But then after this vehicle's generation, it started to become less and less and less. So today, this is the little Kia Sportage that could, and I quite like that little fighting spirit that this vehicle has. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Ted for letting me take out his Kia Sportage. This is one of his recent purchases, and this vehicle will meet its demise at some point soon, so stay tuned for that. But Ted's absolutely awesome. We've worked together for years and years and years. He always brings me interesting cars to review, and I appreciate him very, very much for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.